Almost two years after the dismissal of the Tivet Sadak Council, a 10 new member council has been reinstated and inaugurated by Education Cabinet Secretary Ezekiel Machogu as the government embarks on curriculum reforms in the sector. In their first address after the inauguration, the council has vowed to provide an industry-led curriculum which is responsive to human resource needs of a dynamic economy. I'm aware that the main function of TV at CIDAC is to undertake, design and develop curriculum as well as um, assess and provide certification. As a council, we will strive to ensure the organizational objectives uh, are met and to provide an industry-led curriculum that is responsible, responsive to the human uh, resource needs of a dynamic economy and to establish competence-based assessment and certification system. We will leverage on a, an agreement between the two heads of state to align the Kenyan and German Tibet curriculum so that we can ensure that the people we produce uh, can effectively fit into their system. According to the Ministry of Education Principal Secretary in the State Department of Tivet, Esther Muhoria, the council comes at a better time when the curriculum is realigning itself with the skill set. We are breaking the curricula so that we have the actual skills to be trained at micro, medium and maximum levels. Further, the Education CS has challenged the council to have a twin certification program to absorb skilled personnel into the international labor force. We are engaging with uh, uh, Germany, we are engaging with uh, 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 Canada, we are engaging with these other countries that uh, had the ambassador, uh, Indonesia. Uh, Indonesia. So we are engaging with these countries. Why? Because we have to have our, our people get into that uh, standard, international standard. We are saying our technical universities should now start training, eh? training people who will be trainers in Tibet in institutions and national polytechnics. The SADC was disbanded in 2021 by the previous administration through a directive from the former head of public service. Bentura Komboka, K24, Nairobi.